Hi, guess who I am, boys and girls? I'm Nemo, and I'm showing you the Ocean Channel. So you guys can watch the Ocean Channel, and when I show up, you say Nemo! Okay, everybody ready? You watch the Ocean Channel. Tell me when you see me, okay? Keep watching. I see turtles. You see any Nemo? Clownfish swimming by? Okay, keep an eye. Okay, oh, I see Nemo, I saw Nemo. You guys see Nemo? So now I'm going to show you my favorite ocean book and we'll learn about some of the animals that live in the ocean with me. This is a beautiful book. It's a Scanimation book. Scanimation books require you to move the book so the animals start to swim. Now this is an amazing ocean creature. In French it's called Hippocamp. In English it's a seahorse. And what's special about seahorses is what the mommy and daddy do. Mommies don't give birth to the baby seahorses. The mommy gives the eggs to daddy and he gives birth to the baby seahorses. So the daddy becomes the mommy. He's the one who gives birth to the little baby seahorses. And then afterwards, the mommy and daddy take care of them. So here's, let's watch this one. Our next animal, who's got the most teeth in the ocean? Boys and girls, okay, have one. Take a look. Say shark. Roca. Shark. Now, remember what's special about sharks? Sharks have an amazing sense of smell. They've got the most teeth of any animal, and they've been around before the dinosaurs. So if you went back in prehistoric times and you went to see the dinosaurs, if you went to the oceans, there'd be sharks swimming in the ocean. They've been around and they haven't changed their appearance. They look pretty much the same as they did back then. They're amazingly well adapted to living in the oceans. Who's our next creature? Now, boys and girls, why does Captain Carol's talk about the ocean so much? Well, he's worried about pollution. Now, here's an animal that needs a clean ocean. Now, who knows who this is, boys and girls? This is a sea turtle and sea turtles eat jellyfish and the problem is our garbage, our plastic garbage looks like jellyfish to a sea turtle. So what happens, these poor turtles eat our plastic garbage and they get sick and people have to rescue them in the oceans and take out the garbage from their stomachs. If they find these turtles in time, they can rescue them. So we have to keep the oceans clean from sea, for sea turtles. And here's a fish people don't usually see in the ocean. The moray eel, a scary fish. But these fish live in the coral reefs. That's where Nemo lives. If you want to see Nemo, you have to go to Australia's Great Barrier Reef and you'll see Nemo swimming around in the coral reef. And why are Nemo's fish called sea and MD fish? Well, it's a very special story. See, Nemo has a special problem. He has to protect himself from other fish. He doesn't want to get eaten up. So what he does, he hides in sea anemones and they have stingy tentacles and those protect Nemo from other fish that would try to eat him up. So he goes into the sea anemones and he's safe from other fish that want to eat him up. He's got protection. And our last fish story. Well, actually, this is not a fish. Can anybody guess? It's called a fish, but it's not a fish, boys and girls. Do you know who that could be? This is a jellyfish, a medusa. Now, jellyfish are not fish. Fish have a skeleton. This animal has no skeleton. It just swims around. It's got stinging tentacles, so you have to watch out for jellyfish. Some people think jellyfish are actually more dangerous to divers than sharks because their tentacles can be very poisonous. You have to be careful when you're swimming with the jellyfish. And boys and girls, if you have a submarine and you go deep down in the ocean, you might see the anglerfish. This is an anglerfish. And these fish live in total darkness. A lot of the fish down there produce their own light and they can find their way around in darkness. And the anglerfish not only uses light, he has a special thing to attract his food to come to. It's like a little piece of bait. And the anglerfish will catch a fish in the ocean. 
So thanks a lot, boys and girls, for coming on our ocean adventure. So our next Earth adventure will be coming up soon. So I hope to see you next time, boys and girls.